Hello everyone, welcome back to Stardew Valley Competitive Multiplayer. It's going to be another busy one, last episode was crazy, we had so much to do. I was literally running out of time so much. But hopefully today is a little bit more easier and less stressful, now that we've got the, you know, the beginning bit of Fallout of the way, because it's always the most stressful when you transition into a new... Uh, season, but we're looking good so far. We've got um, 53 strawberry jelly here, 10 blueberry. We've got some wine on the go. Yeah, we're looking good. We do need to get. Well, we're running out of melons, but pumpkins will be replacing them very, very soon. Let's drink these free Jojo Cola to start off. Let's get that energy straight back to the top. And look, guys, our first lava eel row is ready. This is what I wanted. Really, really good got one random bait we are on 38 so if I do want to fish again in the rain we're gonna have to go ahead and get some bait we've got one more oak resin can I make another keg have we got enough we're running out of oh yeah I need to smelt some of these oh we've got no no coal oh dear can I get at least free coal for this yeah we can we need to buy some more wood today I can smelt three more copper bars and it's going to kind of... So we can make five kegs in total, five more with the next lot of oak resins. And the next step is to start smelting this iron and copper. Right, there we go. We can get these copper on the go and that's going to put us level with the iron. One more keg I'm going to put down and uh, put something else in there. There we go. So let's get another melon. For the melon jelly. We might even have more kegs that's ready for us down the bottom here. No, they're not. But there we go. Let's get that in there. Get that in there. Amazing. We're making a lot of stuff here, guys. So as you saw in the last episode... Oh, cheeky eggplant. Yeah, in the last episode, our farm... So both of us together have earned a million. But we don't know which way that is. We don't know if someone's... Someone's got 600k, someone's got 400, or is it 500, 500? We don't know how he even it is, you know? It's it's close. It's hard to tell. But we're not going to see any more updates for the farm now until, until the end. Which we decide the winner on, I think it's the 17th of winter, which is crazy. That's when we're going to see who's earned the most money in the 100 days that it would have been. So now it's just guessing. We know that the farm's hit a million, but from here... We're not going to have any idea, guys. It's going to be a mystery. Oh, look at this. We've now got four super cucumber. Still one of those. It's going to ask for an item, but the sturgeon can start breeding now. We need that caviar, baby. Right. I want more tree tappers. You see these oak trees here? We've got to get them on so we can get through winter. So what I'm going to do is put this row away for the next lot. I'm going to keep some blueberries just to make something at least. So I think we'll do, a, if I can make it in time, do a full loop around. We'll go to Robin's, we'll get another stack of wood, and then go over to Clint's and get copper ore. And I don't mind buying copper. Well, look at him with his horse. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He's got his showing off of his speed. Oh, should we do that? <laughs> should we do? Where's he got his hardwood from? Can we buy it? I think, yeah, I think Robin's got it, right? I'm sure Robin sells it. It's something I've never really done just yet. Oh, wait, Robin doesn't sell hardwood. Hold on, have I not got that installed? Pox has definitely, he must have that mod in. There's no way he's got enough hardwood. Because he's not even in the secret woods, guys. And we're not allowed to do the chair glitch, so... So I have to reinstall that mod. I did take it out because we was having some problems. Um, but it should be fine. Next, next episode, I will get that mod back. And then if I do want hardwood, Robin will sell it from now on. Technically, yeah, we, we did have that mod from day one, but then we hit a problem, you probably saw in the beginning, where every time we left the farm on first of summer, we kept getting crashes, and I was trying to figure out what mod was causing it. Guys, I'm getting 100 copper, 100 coal, absolutely. We've got a lot of iron ore, just chilling back, back at home. So, I think what we need to do, what do we need to do next? What was I trying to do? I need to buy some food for stamina. Let's see if Gus is selling any anything good. Parsnip soup. 85 energy for 240. Yeah, salads are still better. 
We'll go with 20 salad. Keep us strong. Keep us going. Buying a lot of resources. We're spending money today, but this series is all about making money anyway. So, uh, I could technically go to the mines for a little bit right now while we've got maybe a few hours. I wanted to craft tree tappers. Obviously, that's what I was going to do. I can do that on the way back. Let's just go and have three or four hours down in the mines just trying to get more fiber so I can make more tea saplings. And foraging for fall is good. We do need the wild seeds. So I'll keep my eyes out for that. We won't have super long up here, but it's going to be good enough. Pox is not in the mines, so it's good to know. Let's do my favorite trick. My favorite floor for fiber, as you can see. Incredible stuff. He never lets me down, guys. He never lets me down. back and see if I can craft uh, some copper bars, uh, not copper bars, yeah well I need to smelt copper bars but I need to get some tree tappers. All those oak trees that are fully grown now next to the farm, let's get them on there, it's going to help us throughout fall and winter to get more kegs, we've got to get them kegs pumping out, more wine the better. So I can, we need copper bars, we need two for one. This is going to be my smelting one. This is where I'm going to put all my, my things that I can smelt. So if I make three for now, we've got one tree there. That's oak. We've got one there, oak, and one here. It looks like we can have another one here as well. Yeah, I think that's all we can do for now. There we go. Sleep. Oh, all this is done. I have to get it in the morning. I'm just going to pass out and it's just not worth it. I will only be able to get probably like three in there before I pass out. But there we go. Not much money again. Didn't really sell anything. We're kind of hoarding it right now. I'm collecting everything. So we've got two of them and one of them. I'm definitely going to put the larvae eel row on. Two more super cucumber row. And the rest is going to be strawberries. I wonder how much strawberry jelly we've made. We've been doing this since, like, what, end of spring, was it? I actually need some more strawberries. We're running low. We're doing that much of it. We're actually probably going to need to put some more in the ones outside. I'm pretty sure these might be done down here. No, four hours, 40 minutes. Yeah, they are, they are close. Fish are looking good. They're happy. They're not requesting anything right now. Any oak resins done? No. Three days. Let's check the greenhouse. It's so good that I don't have to water now. Yeah, we've got fruit trees. I'm going to keep this strawberry so it can sink back in with the rest. It's better to do one big harvest. And we'll get our... Pomegranate and apples tomorrow as well. So let's make some apple jelly. We've only got two. And then I'll also do... Strawberries again. Right, I might have a few things to sell here. It's Sunday. Okay. So let's do sell, sell, sell. Magma geode, fire quartz. Lots more fiber, which is amazing. 76 in total. Oh, we're out of summer seeds now. 
And don't we need 10 for one? Oh, it's just two. We're going to sell these radishes. We had some spare. I can make two more saplings, and that is all those ones used up. Nice. Can I make any full ones? What have we got here? What are we working with? Just ten? We need wild plums, guys. We've got to go foraging today. Yeah, fiber can go in this one. This is kind of like my uh, my mixed seed one. The tea saplings. Which we've got 22 in total now. Let's make this like a dark green. 22 is worth 11k. Nice. Right, yeah, let's do it. Let's do a little... Oh, these are done now. I've got to get them back on. Travel ladies here. I may as well check as well whilst I'm in this location. Copper bars. Fish stew. So expensive, though. Not great, not great. The secret woods is still blocked off. So, yeah, Pox was definitely buying it. There's nothing to forage. Is it all being reset? Guys, should we buy a new hat? We've got the cool one already. Hmm. Maybe we'll show off and we'll get the bowler hat. Because we're going to win. We're going to look the part, all right? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely nothing to forage. This is not good at all. That's painful. Pox is fishing on the beach. You can check the request board tomorrow, the special orders. Try our luck to get the Linus one. I think it's the one where you have to fish out all of the trash from the sea. There's so much trash or something that you have to catch. Clearing up the ocean, you know. Imagine if I just whipped out a tiger trout first cast. Oh, okay, we've got the legendary fish. I didn't expect this. First cast? Really? Okay, well, I'll do this. Well, guys, we got an angler. Hey! <laughs> That's worth 1,687. You can only catch that once. But you know what? I'll take it. That's worth some decent money. I'm not sure if Pox can catch that one as well. I think everyone can catch just one, right? I don't know how it works on multiplayer. Is it one per save file or is it one for everybody? Right, I feel like I'm wasting time today. I'm not really doing much, so I think it's back for the, the fibers whilst I'm up here because I just don't even know what I'm doing at this point. The foraging was awful. It must all reset tomorrow or something because there was nothing there for me. So guys, I'll do this and I'll probably see you at the end of the day. I'm slowly fading through the smoke. I can't hear my go time to go 81 fiber found quite a lot of gems today look at them we've got emerald aquamarine amethyst don't forget our angler hey <laughs> that was good all right so i think we did buy a lot of wood and a lot of coal and i get more preserved jars on the go especially with the amount of strawberries that we've got that we can keep getting every couple of days i think we can make even more the pumpkins are kicking in soon as well so yeah it'd be good to do that i think literally can't find any forage at all so we'll have to check that tomorrow when we go down and check the special orders but i love the angler can you put legendary fish in the ponds i don't think you can right just sell the fish for what it's worth so much money so much money wood stone coal i can make six more guys 
We're just out of stone now. But we don't need stone for kegs, which is good. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Let's quickly go and get some strawberries to put in there. We're running low on produce. Oh my god. Incredible. And there we go. Ooh, level 6 mining. Got bombs. I'll take it. A cheeky 5k. At least still got a good day on, so don't have to worry about those. Pumpkin's still going strong for six days. They're still preserving. Ooh. Looks like the lava eel has finally decided to ask for an item. Got some eggplants too. Shall we see what he's asking for? Are they fire quartz? What have we been finding quite a lot, guys, and I've been selling? Typical. Absolutely typical. But it's all good. We, we do go down there a lot to do our, our thing. I think he, he must be foraging. I don't know what he's doing. What is he going to fish? Oh, is he going for, he's going for the legendary. He's going for my tactic. Oh, these haven't changed. Yeah, Pox is going for the angler. It is blackberry season, which I think is going to be good for food source. I don't think it's really good for anything else. Oh no, we do actually need them for the wild seeds. I didn't know you needed blackberries. So yeah, they're even better then. We'll have plenty of these. We'll just need the other stuff. With the seeds that we've got at home, we've got, I think, a pack of ten. I might be able to make another pack of ten now. I'm going to plant them, guys, so we can get even more full forage. Because I'm struggling to get hazelnuts and plums. The mushrooms and these blackberries aren't a problem. Hey, he's caught the legendary angler as well. I wish he didn't pop up in the corner like that, because when I caught it, he might have not seen it, and he might have forgot about it. I wish you could turn those on. Oh, off, sorry. I'm down here. I like fishing in autumn, so let's try and get these. They're in the deep shadow bit as well. So this means good quality fish, not just fast. They should be quite decent quality. Oh, chest, really? This wasn't on my plan, but every time I see bubbles, guys, I've just I get attached. I can't I can't avoid them. What's this? Is this a pike? Oh, we got the tiger trout! Yes, finally! So does it have to be sunny, not rainy? I thought you could get them in the rain as well. But obviously a very good valuable fish. They're up there with some of the best. So I need to go and try and go back to the mines and get free fire quartz. So our lava heal can produce even more. Oh, another tiger trout. Come on, let's go. Of course the bubble is going to be here for a long time when I've got things to do. I think they just disappeared. Yes. So the tiger trout's with gold, 337 and 280. Not bad money. And it's a different fish that we've caught. Jeez. Did we even go in the greenhouse today? I completely forgot. No, we didn't. Of course we didn't. At least I don't have to water these anymore, though. So happy about that. Right, looks like one of these wines are done. Probably going to have to put in another melon in there. Right, two more strawberries in them. Store them away. We've got another row there. Keep the eggplant. I might pickle it. Pick all the eggplant, just to you know, get the value up a little bit more. So we need one more melon. Alright, there's the wild plum, so we can make now one of them, one, one, one. That's allow us to make another pack of ten. Which I take them, that's going to be twenty, and we're going to plant those. We've got a soggy newspaper, let's try a look, can we get a cloth for the first time? Please! That's that done. So let's just expand this a little bit. Maybe I'll make a, a nice little area. I don't really need the sprinklers for these. It'd be easy to water every day. Uh, we do need the watering can in a second. So I might just make a little patch here for them. My little forage patch. Let's 
grass is doing my head in. You walk so slow in it. So let's get rid of that. Right, I've got 20, so let's do it. And then when they produce, I'm going to use all of that forage to get even more. It's got a damn torch again. We can do it, guys, I promise. You can get the cloth from that technique in the soggy newspaper. I've done it before, I've done it a few times, but it is very rare. I might have a nosy. Uh, shall we have a look at Poxiel's farm plot, guys? Do you want to see? Shall we see how many pumpkins he's got? Come on, it's a manly thing. Who's the bigger? <laughs> Who's the alpha male? You show me yours, I'll show you mine. Guys, I'm talking about my uh, pumpkin patch, you know? So all these pumpkins, wow. Wow. Oh. Ooh, there's a lot here. Got so many sprinklers, too. I think he's got more than us. He's got way more than us. I should really be using this space where all these kegs are. I think when they are finished, I'm going to move them down. Because then I can get one more sprinkler row straight down there. If I can... Oh, maybe it's not going to work like that. Yeah, the amount of pumpkins he's got is worrying. Maybe tomorrow. We've still got time for more pumpkins. I could do... Extend this field. I could kind of prepare it now. I think seeing this patch, we need more. And we can get another big harvest of pumpkins. Because we've got enough time. Yeah, we definitely need to extend this field. Get another big patch going down here. I want to do a test. If it stays watered overnight, does the soil stay there? Because a lot of this is going to disappear tomorrow, which is annoying. But I just wanted to see the layout. Yeah, I'm going to extend that even further, guys. Even further. And once all of these crops grow on this left side, I'm going to remove them sprinklers because they're not very efficient. And then I'm actually going to use them to extend even further down the bottom for the next lot of pumpkins. We need to go bigger. Starting off the day, getting some more strawberry jelly on the go. And we've got an apple jelly too. Right, looks like a lot of the wine's done, so I'm going to take all the melons. Looks like maybe the pomegranates as well. Blueberries if needed. Pox has left straight away. I think he's probably going to check the community special board. Or, or is he in the greenhouse? Can I? Can I? <gasps> <laughs> We've stolen his horse, guys! This is incredible! We didn't even need a stable! We're so much faster! I can't believe it lets you go onto the other people's horses. Take this, Pox! He's gonna come out of his greenhouse and think, what the hell? Where's my horse gone? <laughs> Guys, it's just drama, it's all good. Why are these not. Wait, I f do you have to choose one for another one to appear? I'm just going to the shop, I'm just taking a little ride. I'm just, uh, you know, we're friends, Pox. Did you just steal my horse? No, man. <laughs> you left it outside the store. <laughs> oh, God. We're cruel. We're cruel. Right, we'll take 12 and then, however, we can get 85. Let's sell this wine now. So it allows us to buy even more. 100 and then I'll get one two three more sprinklers 15 in total. We're all out of money You don't believe me that I found it outside the shop <laughs> I just said thanks for the ride. How much did you charge? I need a taxi That was awesome a thousand dollars per gallop <laughs> No problems, I'm loaded. <laughs> LOL! Oh, that was great. He came out of the, the greenhouse and he's like, What the hell? Where's my horse gone? I can't believe it. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> no, it's not that bad, guys. I was, I was gonna give it back, I promise. I was gonna give it back. I was hoping that I could go to the shop in time before he was done and drop it back off without even knowing. But that didn't work, sadly. Right, let's get these pumpkins down guys let's expand I'm gonna need another scarecrow down here oh here he is oh. 
He's wondering what I'm doing. He's stalking me, guys. Uh, we need to go this side as well. I mean, it's a bit annoying. It's just behind the tree. And I've got to get rid of that one as well. Uh, so I'm going to have one there, one there. Then we'll start going down. I need my axe. All the trees are in the way. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. If I do that one there, that one there. Let's go and get my axe. More pumpkins in the ground, guys. This is going to help us out massively. Just so we've got a big enough. Because I don't know if there's going to be enough here. I don't know. Maybe I'm just panicking too much, but... Yeah, this is, we need that, that money coming in fast. And basically, this is our, our final growing season. Because when winter comes, I won't be able to use any of this outdoor space. It's only going to be what's in the greenhouse. Which is not a lot. Not a lot of space, and we've already basically filled it. So, it's going to be just, you know... Yeah, this is going to be the last one. So, I really want to make most of this. And whilst we've got the money, we can do it. Because I can afford, obviously, the sprinklers and things like that. I might need even more seeds, though. Yeah, we do. I need two more. No, I need even more down that way as well. I'll have to buy those tomorrow, because right now I've got to water these and get a scarecrow built. Which I'll craft right away. I might get two. And let's see if I've got any mixed seeds, which we do. Lovely jubbly. We've got the wood, the coal. The fiber, which I don't think... Have we got much more left or have I used it already? No, we've got plenty. Nice. Sadly, I've got to use that fiber, which is mainly used for tea saplings, but... That's all good. I've got my watering can got the scarecrows and I've got the mixed seeds so let's plant these we can go around here like that it's just a little bit of something scarecrow I'm gonna have one cheeky there and maybe if we can work it out perfectly yeah one can go right there like that and that's they're all covered they're all safe it's a bit messy but now I've just got to water now for the rest of the day I'll only have to water these top ones Every day, the rest are going to be covered by sprinklers. But you know, we've expanded, we've got more pumpkins now. We're using the space as well, you know, this is all our farm, so we need to make use of it. It's a good job that I've got the fish pond right here, because it's so much easier just to fill up. Wait, hold on, don't we have a pond in the bottom right? I don't know how far away that is, though. Plus, it might be hard to get to with all the rubbish down there. We should have enough time to water all this. Right, let's see, oh yeah, this is so much quicker. I thought for some reason it was even further than it is, but it's actually not that bad at all. Right, I'm a little bit tired, so it's time for a salad. And this is just only the day we have to water, guys. I don't have to do this again. Get this over and done with. And we're set up now for the rest of autumn. Could hear Pock showing off with his horse. Well, at least I took it for a ride at least once. Right, and there we go. I think we're all good. Obviously, they don't need water, really, because... Just in case, but I don't think there's any seeds on them. Let's go and get some strawberries. Uh, I've got blueberries down here. I've got the melons on me. So let's get melon wine on the go. Let's get some blueberry. I think this is already blueberry as well. Let's make a bee house, guys. Why not? I possibly might get a little cheeky fairy rose tomorrow. Or a few of them. We don't really need that much, and I'll have them growing down here. And we get some fairy rose honey. I think that'll be quite good. Good value. I know it's only one, but you know what? It's better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. Still got one quality sprinkler left down here. Hmm. We're out of stone, by the way. We are out of stone. One random bait. Let's get on the rod so we're not wasting space. Right. Oh, all this is done. Glad I came in a little bit earlier. Guys, our first lava eel row. We have made it. Let's get three pickles. They are standard quality. Let's pickle them. Tomorrow, the last day of the episode, we're going to go ahead and sell all of this stuff, okay? This is what we're going to do. We're going to sell all of our jelly and wine and stuff that we've managed to make. A sleeping time quickly. Whew. The final day of this episode. Let's get it. 
Oh, even more row. Some cranberries have popped up too. Looks like we've got free jelly that we can make there. But luckily, we've actually got two of these row. So, lava eel. Let's age it. Oh, it's two days. Another one. Let's get a cranberry in there. Why not? So, we can't go to the store today. Dampier is closed. Obviously, we've just got one of these ones, guys. The rest are all sorted. And these are only for five days. But I am planning to grow more of these. That's all we need to do there. Let's check on the greenhouse. Oh, it's Straub's day. Straub was just running low on these, so this is nice. Seems like when you just about run out, more pop up. Free pomegranates, free apples as well that are ready for us. Even more blueberries. The cranberries are done for the first time. What a day. What a day this is. Full harvest day. This is what autumn's all about, right? The fall season, it's all about harvesting. And there we go. Another big harvest done, guys. I really wanted to get some fairy rose today. Keep some pomegranate, why not? We'll keep hold of the 15 cranberries so I can produce them into something else. Maybe we can go foraging today. It wasn't very good the last time. Yeah, maybe we should. We could get a shed, guys. We could fill this out with preserve jars. When the money comes in. When I sell all of my wine and jelly, I think in the next episode, I'm going to get one of these built. We're going to place it somewhere in the bottom. I'm going to fill that out with even more preserve jars. So we just need to go and buy as much wood, coal and stone as possible. And that way, guys, we can have another shed filled with preserve jars to get us through the winter season and the rest of fall just to improve that profit. And we're going to have a lot of pumpkins so I can make pumpkin or pickled pumpkin as well. I know that pumpkin juice is better. And we can still craft kegs too. I can move the kegs on the farm that we've got currently and move them into the... Um, I've got no money whatsoever. I don't know what I'm doing this for. Yeah, I'll have move around. We'll put things into the, the shed. We'll have more space. I think it'll be good. Pox is still on the farm. He must be busy. A few cheeky little clam. And of course, our favourite thing in the world... Wormies, which is clay. 2 p.m. Should we cast the line in my favorite spot? Try and hunt for more tiger trout. We can't get the catfish, but. And then I can forage to the left. I'll have a few hours and then we're going to go into the forest and do a loop around foraging down there. It's another bad luck day, though. I always seem to fish now on a bad luck day. This could be a tiger trout. It's fighting like one. Yeah, it was. I'm going to catch one more fish, we'll do some foraging, get back to the farm, I'm going to clear an area ready for the shed in the next episode, nice space for it, and also, I'm going to sell everything that we've got in our chest, where we've you know, filled it with wine and jelly. Oh, a chest, let's get this then. The last one, just before I was going to end it, nice. Could it be something valuable, something worth something? What about a treasure chest, imagine, or a diamond? Oh, Pox is down here getting wood. This horse is not even faster than me. The horse is meant to be fast. What the hell? I'm running faster than him. That is crazy. Well, I think I'm going to put the shed in this big space here that we've got. We've got a big space. I do want to make more pumpkins down here. So I'll tuck it away in this corner. It's going to be down here in the next episode, so I'll get rid of the grass ready. I think it will get rid of it anyway. We just need 15k, which I'm sure we are going to get when I sell all of my wine and jelly in a minute. Okay, so that's cleared a little bit. Oh, we've actually got some jelly that's done here that I'm gonna sell as well. So let's put all this in the shipping bin. Don't forget the tea saplings. We've made a few already, so I may as well sell them at least. And of course, we've got all of this to sell. 
There we go. Let's not sell them strawberries, though. We need them. Nice. Good money coming in, guys, today. Very, very good money. Have we got some gold bars that we could potentially sell? We've got 12 here. Might sell 10. We've got another maple syrup. What am I playing at? Let's make another one. I'm going to go ahead tomorrow, or next episode, guys, and go ahead and get some fairy rose. And yeah, look at this. We'll make some fairy rose honey. Great stuff. I quickly sell these 10 gold bars. And let's sleep. Let's watch this money roll in. And that is the final day of this episode. What have we ended it on? Holy smokes. We have just made... Our first 100k, not in total, in like one big shipment there. Wowzers. Tea saplings, of course, kicking in. 114k, we needed that. We needed that. It was running low on money, we had nothing, and it's going to put us back into the game there. Oh, what a start to next episode, guys. Pumpkins are so close. We're going to go ahead and get the shed. It's going to be exciting. We're going to craft a ton of preserved jars and fill out the shed. Move all of them kegs when they are done. They're going in there as well, so I've got more space for another row, hopefully, of crops down there. It's going to be good. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button and stick around for the next episode. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know in the comments, guys. Are you Team Sharky, Team Pox? Who is going to win? Thank you all for watching. Take it easy and stay cozy.